knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. Sarah was deflated. She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him.
could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? led his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same?
Chris was sceptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Thomas liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above.
John's massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. James still felt weird, but he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City, or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. <laughs> 